and welcome to our next video where we learn about simultaneous differential equation. In my previous video, you already learned about linear or higher order differential equation with constant coefficient, first order, first degree differential equation, Cauchy's homogeneous differential equation. Then the next step is simultaneous differential equation. Simultaneous equations you already solved. Simultaneous, it means if you have two equations, both together, you can solve them with same variables and find out the value of variables that is called simultaneous equation. So simultaneous differential equation means simultaneous equation includes derivative. Good. So what are which kind of equations are simultaneous? Two linear first order equation with two dependent variables and one independent variables. I think you know what are the dependent variables and what are the independent variable. Dependent variable means the variable which depend on the other variable. For example, if I write y is equal to f of x. y is equal to f of x. Which one is dependent? Which one is independent? Yes, y is dependent and x is independent. Why? Because y is function of x. Means if we change the value of x, y is uh, uh, changed accordingly. If we put in our simultaneous equations, there are two dependent variables and one independent variable. So we discuss this simultaneous equation with one example. I will show you one whole example how to solve these simultaneous differential equation then you better understand so our example is dx upon dt plus 2y is equal to 5 to the power e to the power t and second one is dy upon dt minus 2x is equal to 5 e to the power t. Okay. Same. 10. This gives 10 5 e to the power t. Right hand side is both same. So, see here this x and y depend on t. Means x and y two dependent variable and this third variable t is independent means both x is also function of t y is also function of t x and y two are the now if we substitute here capital d is equal to d by d t with respect to t with respect to our independent variable so our equation becomes d x plus 2y is equal to 5 e to the power t. Second one, if I write minus x, x combined plus d of y is equal to 5 e to the power t. Equation 1, equation 2. Now, next step, yes, like simple equations, we have to omit any one variable either x from equation or either y and then we solve that equation means if we multiply equation 1 with 2 and equation 2 with d and plus it see 2 dx 2 dx minus it will be cancelled out so what we can do 1 multiply with 2 and 2 multiply with d our new equations becomes Two d x plus two to the four. Four y is equal to ten e to the power t minus of two d x plus d square y d square y equal to five d means d by d t of e to the power t d by dt of e to the power t yes same e to the power t now plus it 
this cancel out d square plus 4 y is equal to 10 plus 5 15 e to the power t because 5 e to the power d by dt d by dx of e to the power x is e to the power x or we can say d by dt of e to the power t is same so now gives given equation is linear higher order differential equation with constant coefficient in y and t y is depend on t so what is our next step we have to find out its solution with respect to y means we have to find out complementary function and particular integral for y so y is equal to cf plus pi for cf we write auxiliary equation m square plus 4 is equal to 0 so it gives m equal to m equal to plus minus 2 iota means 0 plus minus 2 iota so if you see alpha and beta so our alpha is 0 beta is 1 so our complementary function in this case e to the power alpha e to the power 0 is 1 so I didn't write next one is c1 cos beta t plus c2 sin beta t into e to the power 0 t e to the power 0 t means it is 1 so our complementary function is c1 cos 2 t plus c2 sin 2 t next step we have to find out particular integral for this we have to go for pi for pi 1 upon d square plus 4 15 e to the power t correct yes so it is case 1 e to the power a x a is 1 so replace d with 1 so our solution is 15 by 1 square plus 4 e to the power t it gives 15 e to the power t upon 5 means 5 3 is correct it means our particular integral is 3 e to the power t now y what is our y y gives y is equal to c1 cos 2t plus c2 sin 2t plus 3 e to the power t. Good. This one is our equation number 5th. If we write this is equation number 5th. First second was that. Third. Now equation number. Sorry 3. First second was given equation. This is equation number. With this we, if we want to find out dy by dt. Differentiate this with respect to t. So dy by dt is minus 2 d by dt of cos 2t is minus of sin 2 sin 2 c1 sin of 2t plus 2 c2 cos 2t plus 3 d by dt of e to the power t is e to the power t now these two value but substitute in our given equation either equation 1 or equation 2 so we substitute here this value in equation number 2. What is our equation number 2? I just rewrite minus dy by dx sorry dy by dt minus 2x is equal to 5 e to the power t. Is this correct? It means 2x is equal to dy by dt minus 5 e to the power t. Yes. Oh, and one more thing we want to find out x. So x is equal to 1 by 2 dy by dt minus 5 e to It's given question equation number 2 which we it's given. So from this equation we have to find out x is equal to dy by dt minus 5 e to the power t. So dy by dt from here we substitute here. X 
is equal to 1 by 2 dy by dt is minus 2c1 sin 2t plus 2c2 cos 2t minus 5 e to the power t and plus 3 e to the power t. Clear? So, x this is 2c1 sin 2t, 2c2 cos 2t minus of 5 plus of 3 means 2e to the power t is remaining. So, if we can take 2 outside and cancel it, it gives c2 cos 2t minus c1 sin 2t minus e to the power t. Yes, c2 cos 2t minus c1 sin to the power t. So now we have to come our x and y means we have to come on our solution x is equal to this and y is equal to we already find out what is our y c1 cos 2t plus c2 sin 2t plus 3 e to the power t this gives our solution sometimes or many times they will give the initial conditions means question is given there are two simultaneous equation and some conditions are given they write that if uh, i rewrite the question again dy plus 2y equal to 5 e to the power t sorry dx this one is dx and dy minus 2x equal to 5 e to the power t and given x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to 3 and t is equal to 0 capital D is equal to d by dt I rewrite the problem sum just once again, if d dx by dt plus 2y equal to 5e to the power t, dy by dt minus 2x is equal to 5e to the power t, d is d by dt given x at t is equal to 0 is minus 1, y at t is equal to 0 is 3. So, if we substitute in there x and y, we have to find out the value of constant our c1 and c2. If we substitute in this above equation, then what it gives? X is minus of 1 C2 T is 0 Cos 0 is 1 Yes, so C2 Sin 0 is 0 Minus E to the power 0 E to the power 0 is 1 So it gives Minus 1 plus 1 C2 equal to 0 Next, if we substitute y equal to 3 equal to c1 again c1 cos of 2t, cos of 0, cos of 0 is 1 plus sin 0 is equal to sin of 0 is 0 plus 3 e to the power 0 is 1. Again 3 comes here, 3 minus 3 0. So this gives c1 equal to 0. So our, we can find out with these initial conditions our constant value also. So main our required solution you substitute c1 and c2 equal to 0. If c1 is 0 here and c2 0 here means all these terms vanish. Our required solution is just this x is equal to x is equal to e to the power minus t y is equal to e to the power 3 t. This is the required solution for given simultaneous equation.